I said. The man said, they didn't hear what he said. <laughs> the interpreter interpreted to them that it is your time for a miracle. And they all stood up. I did not know when I screamed now, wahala be this. <laughs> and suddenly, I was strengthened. I remembered what happened some days ago. And I said, who brought you? The same guy stood up. I said, no. Now I know. <laughs> With words as simple as can be, but generated by faith because of an experience. Boom, 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 boom. They all entered the bus after the Holy Ghost morning, waving at us goodbye, all of them hearing and talking. That is one encounter I will never forget as long as I live. As long as I live. These secret agents are walking in the midst of men. But their secrets become demystified the moment you have an understanding. Say with me in the name of Jesus. I deploy bringer angels. Go forth in the name of Jesus. Cause the things God has prepared for me in 2015 to locate me in the name of Jesus. In Texas, United States of America some years ago, in the 40s, I heard of a story of some missionaries. They were together. They had sent some pastors to oversee countries to plant churches and there is this bunch of pastors they wanted to send and they needed heavy amounts of money and they came together to pray because until prayers are made these angels are not activated when prayers are said they appear when the word of God is decreed they take off their job is to make sure that every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God does not fall to the ground. Every, every word that is spoken from his prophets, from his children, their job is to see to it that it does not fall to the ground. The Bible says that I watch over my words to perform it. He watches his words through these angels to bring you to your destiny. When God sends them, and you understand the mysteries behind deploying them and you deploy them to go forth in the name of Jesus Christ even the devil cannot stop them one angel stood in the book of Revelation one angel put his leg into the sea the other land the other one on the land can the devil stop that one there are angels so mightier than the devil in size and God has made them available for us somebody said thank you Jesus and they began to cry out to God they began to cry out to God I don't know how many days they were doing this in their days they didn't understand some other things so they, all, all they knew was to cry out to God they cried out to God they cried out to God for some days and towards the end of the meeting <laughs> you know there's a, there's a way you pray and pray and pray you become desperate that's not the time to leave your prayer meeting when you become desperate that's when to stay there and this leader now turned to one of the members of the board and he said to him brother so and so round it up we'll come tomorrow and give thanksgiving and thank God and you know Stay, tarry until God gives it to us. And that guy got up in a Texan accent and he said, Well, Lord, we thank thee for all you've been doing. And we believe that you have answered our prayer. But Lord, permit me to say this. The Bible said that you own a cattle on a thousand hills. Lord, send your angel.
to sell some of those cattle and give us the money and give us the money there is a way you pray because of a relationship with God when you pray like that even ordinary men will begin to wonder is this not an insult no brother it's not an insult it's the way we talk in our family that's how we talk that's how we talk that's how we talk that's our language and two days ago while they were gathered thanking the Lord God Almighty for provisions the secretary walked in and said sir there's a man out there to see you he said sister we are concluding our prayer don't disturb us he said I believe he's got answer to the prayer and they said okay call him in and the guy came in and greeted the gentleman the reverend gentleman and in his Texan accent said well they are men of God I'm a cattle rearer some days ago I had this 10 trucks of cattle to sell it wasn't being sold so I had a deal with my Lord and he said I told the Lord I told the Lord Lord if you can just sell this 10 truckload of cattle then I can give you two cattle for the walk and he said amazingly he said amazingly when we came out to trade the next day in the Texan accent he said how do you know a young man from another ranch came over and bought all the ten trucks here is money for the two trucks of cattle the missionaries laughed and laughed and they turned to the brother and they said brother God that owns a cattle on a thousand hills really sent his angel in the name of Jesus every aspect of your lives we command these bringer angels to go before you in the name of Jesus and connect you to the men and women that will help you fulfill your destinies in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father thank you father remember I've told you that they don't minister to you but for you God has sent them specifically to go before you to help you fulfill your destiny God never created you and your destiny and left you on your own to do it by yourself God has these angels of destinies he has designed for you and I command in the name of Jesus they will take you to your destiny in the name of Jesus and we're going to pray with this scripture in Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 1 that's what we gain by coming to prayer and prophetic conference in your prayers you summon them you summon them let me get the right scripture there now um, Ezekiel 9 verse 1 sorry Ezekiel 9 verse 1 he said he cried also in my ears with a loud voice saying cause them that have charge over the city to draw near even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand there are angels God has assigned over cities homes over your personal lives he says we should do what cry out and cause them to come how do we cause them to come supplications intercessions and when they cried out this angel by the altar whenever you hear the words altar 
you are talking about prayers prayers are offered on altars and there's fire there and the angels are attracted to the fire on the altar amen cause them and when they caused them they them charge they went and destroyed by these tools of prophetic dominion God has already given us a standard he has given us victory control over every aspect of life failure to engage it you will have yourself to blame rest on your feet wherever you are we're going to cause them to come we're going to command them to go forth throughout the city throughout the nation in your life let them go forth on your behalf and connect you with those God has already ordained that they will bring help let them go forth as we pray let us address these elections their Nigeria as a nation has a destiny his destiny angels are assigned over nations call them forth let them execute God's counsel in his elections let God's choice be made known in the name of Jesus Christ open your mouth right now father in the name of Jesus we thank you for making these resources available to the church now in the name of Jesus command these angels of destiny let them be released over Nigeria there is a destiny this nation has let them be released over this state there is a destiny this state has let them be released over families over individuals let them go forth and bring us to the promised land in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to be Zatera Pakata open your mouth cause them to come we travel had felt cause them and them Zozagataka Fondala Korodovoka Zakara Bakate Reke Skate Rakara Bokorodo Zakate Reka Baka Rekara Bakorodo Boska Zeketeka Repapa Yakete Reka Reka Baba I had not said no years heard neither has it entered the hands of man the things which you have prepared for us let them go forth now you angels of God bring our angels go forth and begin to bring to pass we prepare things for our nation every state every prepared thing for our families every prepared thing that God has in store for our life the promised land keep us in the way in the name of Jesus Christ have you been impacted by this message please share your experience with Pastor David Ogweli email address dominion image media at yahoo.com or call 01-792-6879-0803-435-7959 0803-590-9900 0805-315-3823